All right, let's do a couple of word problems with uh, trig functions. So in this problem, it says a wire goes from the ground to a foam pole. The angle with the ground is 65 degrees, and the distance along the ground from the pole is 20 feet. How high is the point where the wire is attached to the pole, and how long is the wire? OK, so first up, let's draw a picture of the situation. We've got uh, the ground here, and here we've got a telephone pole. And there's a wire that's going from the pole down to the ground. Now what we're told is the angle that it makes with the ground is 65 degrees. They don't specify which angle, but it's got to be this one because it's um, this one over here is bigger than 90. So that's 65 degrees, and the distance along the ground from the pole to the wire is 20 feet. So 20 feet. Uh, part A says, how high is the point where the wire is attached to the pole? Okay, so I'm going to call this H, or height. So part A is asking us to find H. So we look at the situation and we see what do we have. In relation to this uh, angle here, we've got the opposite, or I'm sorry, the adjacent side here, and we're supposed to find the opposite side. So what we need is the trig function that relates adjacent and opposite. That would be tangent. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So plugging into here, we get tan of 65 degrees is opposite, which is h, over adjacent, which is 20. So let's see if we solve that out, we get h is 20 tan. 65 degrees. And if I put that into my calculator, tan 65 is 2.1 something times 20, I get 42.89. They didn't tell us how to round, so I'm just going to leave it there. 42.89 feet. Or we could change this to 42 feet and so 42 whole feet and then 0.89 of a feet or 89 of a foot. So what I'm going to do on my calculator is take 42 off of that. I'm left with just the 0.89 here. Let's multiply that by 12. That tells us how many inches. 42 feet, 10.68 inches. All right. Okay, now part B says, how long is the wire? So again, what I want to use here is, uh, I'm going to call this C for the, because it's the hypotenuse. But how long is the wire? Now, I've got a value for H, but I don't want to use it. The values I want to use to solve, answer this are the original two numbers that were given to us. Uh, reason is, this is rounded off. Let's uh, let's use the the most accurate numbers we have, which are the sixty and twenty. All right. So for this one, we're dealing with the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So that's going to be a cosine problem. So cosine of theta. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So what we get here is cosine of sixty-five degrees is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, which is C. And C is what we're trying to find. So C cosine 65 equals 20. So C is equal to 20 over cosine 65 degrees. So 20 divided by cosine of 65 is 47.32. Or if we wanted to change it to feet and, and inches, it's 47 feet, and then 0.32. I'll take the 0.32 and multiply that, that by 12, and I get 3.84. Alright, and that's it. 
Okay, um, let's do one more problem. This one, uh, a wheelchair ramp forms an angle of 4.8 degrees with the ground. If, it, if the ramp needs to be 14 inches tall, how long does it need to be? All right. So we've got a really long triangle here. This is supposed to be 14 inches, and the angle inside of here is 4.8 degrees. All right, so we're asking how long, does, how, how long does the ramp need to be? And that's maybe kind of an ambiguous question, because are we talking about the length along the hypotenuse, or are we talking about the length along the ground? And the question is not very specific. How long does it need to be? Well, I'm the teacher. I will make it specific. How long does it need to be along the ground? All right, so let's call this uh, B just for whatever reason. Well, I guess it's the right thing to call it if this is A. Then um, 14 would be little a and this would be B. But anyway, so we've got the angle down here, 4.8 degrees. We've got the opposite and the adjacent side. So we're going to use tangent here. Tangent of A is going to be opposite over adjacent. So we get tan A is 14 over B. So B tan A equals 14. And wait a second, let's, let's put in, we know what A is, let's put it in tan of 4.8 b times tan of 4.8 degrees is equal to 14 so b is equal to 14 over tan of 2.8 degree 4.8 degrees And what do I get here? I get 166.72 inches. All right. Um, this angle of 4.8, that's actually very close to the actual ADA requirement for a, for a wheelchair ramp. So we get to um, 166.72. What is that in feet? 166.72. If I divide that by 12, it gives me 13.89. And that's actually um, that's actually good. The, the real requirements for ADA is um, if a ramp is supposed to be um, 14 inches tall, it needs to have 14 feet of run. And this is uh, this is very close. The angle here of 4.8 is rounded a little bit, but anyway, that's a that's a good uh, real-world example of a uh, of a trig problem.